Hello everyone, this is the Hendrickson air inflation system. It's Hendrickson C34925. The operation range is from 0 to 300 psi and adjustable range is from 0 to 125 psi. And today I'm going to show you how it's connected to the system and how it works. Uh, it have a light that is going to show you the low pressure. When the pressure will be lower than 70 psi, the light will came on. But you should keep in mind one thing. When the here it's the supply port and here is the delivery port. The supply port is where that is coming from the air tank and the delivery port is the port that is going through the axles to all the tires, all eight tires. And the uh, when the when the this port from the supply is closed, it's not gonna show you the tire pre, low tire pressure. Even even if you will be have zero pressure right now, the pressure on delivery it's zero and the light is off because our supply port is closed. Right now we're gonna open it. As you can see, supply port is opened. The pressure right now it's 90 psi. And as you can see, the light is still off. And here you have a, you will have this button. It usually will stay like this, and will be all the way in. You can, you should remove it and turn it with this side toward the inflation system. It have a pin right here. With this pin, you can press on this tab, and you will simulate the air leak. Just tighten it a little bit. And you can just tighten it. Right now we can simulate an air leak. It's a small air leak. But we can, as you can see, the, the pressure is going lower when you're simulating the air leak. And when the pressure is going lower than, actually when it's going lower than 85, the light came on. As you can see right now, it's close to 90. When it's gonna be 80, the light will came on. Yeah, like at 82, 83, it's already on. If the pressure is, is higher than 85, the light is off. I don't know why, but the adjustable uh, adjustable knob doesn't work here. We can't adjust it. It's adju adjusted just to 90 psi, almost 90, and we can't do anything with it. We can do it higher or lower. I tried on another one, and I was able to adjust it. Usually. You should pull out this knob and you can turn it you can turn it like forward and backward and you will like make the pressure higher and lower but in this case I don't know why it doesn't work and we can't adjust it. Usually this light it's always in the front of the trailer and it have a minus directly from the body and the plus is coming usually from here. The plus is coming from this side and it's going back to the light from this side. And as you can see, right now we are using a battery. We're using the plus from from here. It's going through this cable and it's coming back to the light through this cable. And also the minus from the battery. So as you can see, this is a air leak simulation, and we have it on and off. Everything is working except the tire pressure regulator, the air pressure regulator, in this case. And don't forget that your light is going to show you the low pressure only when the supply port is going to be open. If you're going to close it, the light, yeah, the light will came on just one time and that's it. After this, even if you'll have zero pressure, it's not going to show you anything. Right now, let's turn it on and it's working and this is how it works if you have any questions just let me know as you can see right now i connected the cables from the light that is on the front of the reefer back right now i'm going to check that light and my friend is gonna release the air like simulate the air leak and 
I will show you how the lights coming on and off. This is the light I told you about, and my friend right now, right now is going to simulate an air leak, and we'll see how it works. Day. And this is how it works.